Hello, my name is Anna Stojanovic, I'm Marketing Manager at Tesla Watt. Today I want to explain what is the difference between on-chain and off-chain transactions. Transaction is, in its simplest terms, a movement of a particular cryptocurrency value. On-chain transaction is the movement of this value inside of the blockchain. The transfer of cryptocurrency value is broadcast to every node or participant to the network and recorded into the blocks of the blockchain. How on-chain transaction works? Someone requests a transaction. The requested transaction is broadcasted to a peer-to-peer -peer network consisting of computers called nodes. The network of nodes validate transaction. The block then can be added to the chain, which provides an unreliable and transparent record of transactions. For an on-chain transaction to be complete, there has to be an agreed number of confirmations and it needs to be approved. Sometimes transactions are delayed if there are a large volume of transactions that are waiting to be approved. So, if you want transaction to complete faster, you can do this by paying a higher fee. This means that the majority of nodes or computers in the network must agree that the transaction is valid. After that, on-chain transactions became implemented and irreversible. Transactions are not encrypted, so it is possible to browse and view every transaction ever collected into a block. On the other hand, off-chain transaction is the movement of value outside of the blockchain and relies on other methods to record and validate. First, two parties can have a transfer agreement. Second, a third party might exist who guarantees that the transaction is complete and valid, for example, like PayPal. Third, is use of codes or coupon-based payment mechanisms. Codes or coupons can be exchanged with the crypto assets. On-chain transactions take some time to collect enough information to ensure that they cannot be reversed. Bitcoin currently has a limit of 7 transactions per second. Transaction fee. There are two types of rewards for miners, block rewards and transaction fees. While the fee does not depend on the amount you're sending, it does depend on network conditions and the data size of your transaction. There is no simple way to calculate the transaction size by hand. Here we can see fees per transaction in USD on July 5th. That's all for today. As always, if you like this video, please like, comment, share or watch another TeslaVat video in the bottom right corner. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.